President uh, Duterte has been uh, attacking the Catholic Church ever since when he was still uh, running for president. He first attacked the Pope and calling him uh, a war, a war, you know, because he was uh, stuck in traffic. Pope Francis was visiting the Philippines at that time and Duterte was campaigning. So from there on, he keeps, you know, criticizing the church, attacking the bishops to the extent that uh, he wants them killed. So that's uh, a very harsh uh, situation for the, for the church to face, you know. The Catholic Church is the only, you know, uh, large uh, denomination in the Philippines that uh, criticizing him, asking for him uh, to stop his uh, extrajudicial killings, asking the people to, you know, not support him or, no, there's even an election now in May, uh, the church is asking the people to not to vote for him. So he's, he's really mad at the church. Well, as you know, Christianity always, uh, you know, he, we don't hate the, the sinner, you know. So I think the church is uh, in a forgiving uh, attitude, you know, to, to pray for him because he, in some ways he doesn't know what he's talking about. He should believe the church and like separate the religion into the state. Yeah, right. Yeah, from the state. Yes. For my point of view, does they have any evidence that he's the one like ordering the killing or it's just because of like, yeah. you know, it's the business. It's kind of like covering the killings if it's maybe it's the way of the drug lords so yeah. that they will put the blame onto the president oh the drug lords maybe yes killing people. maybe really that's my point of view so you as a catholic person what is what do you feel when he criticizes your church or attacks your church even? i feel bad too because why he's only uh, criticize the catholics and yeah. the catholics as well should not be also messing up with the the way the the presidents, you know. You think the the Catholics shouldn't be criticizing the president? Yes. 